My name is James. I am a digital marketing manager. I was using Microsoft To Do and now I use Todoist. For more reviews like this, click the link below. With each of these softwares, I, I kind of organize my entire life professionally and, and personally uh, between organizing projects with deadlines or tasks that are associated with those projects, assigning tasks to other people or other teams. Uh, I kind of use it all as a single source of truth for everything that I have to do on my day and uh, again at work or at home. In my opinion, Todoist is best for uh, any to-do uh, list management that requires nested folders or nested projects, uh, anything beyond just a simple like pen and paper, you know, with check boxes kind of to-do uh, list um, need that you might have. It's also really, really good for those who uh, value quickly inputting tasks. So from a mobile device or from your computer, uh, quickly and easily entering tasks into your list. You can get it out of your head and forget about it. Uh, set due dates, things like that. That's what Todoist is best for. Microsoft Todo is best for, I would say, organizations that are really heavily bought into the Office or Microsoft ecosystem for work tools. So if you're using things like Teams or any of the Office products, Word, Excel, PowerPoint, uh, or if you're using Outlook, you know, for example, or their calendar, integrating Microsoft to-do as a, as a to-do list manager on top of all those things really helps to kind of keep everything in one spot. So I, I would say it's particularly best for organizations that are using the Microsoft suite of, of business tools. Getting set up on each of these tools is, is pretty simple. You create an account, you know, verify your email, and then you start creating projects. So, and that's really the hard part is creating all the different projects that you have or all the different folders of, of tasks that you need to have uh, and then populating it full of all the tasks is really pretty simple and easy to do and, and even uh, there's a lot of YouTube videos and, and content that you can watch about how to best organize your projects and get everything set up properly so that it makes sense for you. So my, my considerations or my, my top considerations for selecting a software like Microsoft To Do or Todoist, uh, like I previously said, if you're in an organization that uses Microsoft, uh, Microsoft to do really is just an, a quick and easy bolt on to add to that list of tools that you're using. Uh, other considerations would be how easy is it for you to add tasks? How quick is it to do? So looking at the, you know, the UX of the app or the, the website and figuring out how easy is it for you to just get tasks out of your head and onto paper. Uh, other things, uh, if you value quick input or like smart context, uh, then going with an app like to do, or excuse me, Todoist is probably best for you where you can just enter dates and it knows automatically, you know, what day you want to make that do or if it's recurring. So things like that are things that you can look at as well as whether or not you need nested folders or projects. So subfolders inside of project folders, um, maybe to split up tasks into individual parts. So those are the considerations that I'd uh, consider as well as just the price. Um, you know, I, I, I use the free account of to do and I use the paid version of Todoist just based on the features that I need. So you got to consider that as well.